Hi, I'm Parker Allen. It's Today in Lighting.com, Thursday, 20 November. We are sponsored by Lightovation, 1 million square feet of lighting solutions at Dallas Market Center. If you enjoyed Today in Lighting, please hit the like button. Here are the stories making news. AMS Osram's Q3 2025 results show 9% semiconductor growth, stronger profitability, and 43 million euros in free cash flow. The company continues to invest in sensor and LED technologies, positioning itself for long-term growth. You can read the full article on edisonreport.com. The AIA's Architectural Billings Index rose slightly in October, but still shows declining firm billings. Project inquiries are up, yet new design contracts continue to fall, signaling ongoing softness heading into 2026. Read more on edisonreport.com. Lighting designer Lenny Schwendinger transforms cities after dark through community-driven nighttime design, using light to improve safety, identity, and public space. With projects from Myrtle Beach to San Diego, Lenny shows how thoughtful urban lighting can reshape how people experience their cities at night. Find the full article at designinglighting.com. Yesterday, the Lighting Quotient launched its next generation Tambient system, a flexible, furniture integrated lighting platform with task, video, and circadian options. It delivers adaptable, user focused, sustainable lighting for modern workplaces. Product details are available on designinglighting.com. And the Dow ended its week long skid yesterday. It was up 47 points. The NASDAQ was up 131. AMS Osram was down just under 2%. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day and pray for peace.